read. A new university without a library has recently opened in the USA. All the information normally found in a library is now stored in the university's computers. Without leaving their computers, users can send messages and receive information through telephone lines. However, this means that each student must have access to a computer, and many universities are making this a requirement for freshmen. College campuses now have computer jacks in every part of the university. Study is no longer restricted to just one location. Computer bulletin boards are used in the same way as traditional ones in schools and colleges. The difference is that over 20 million people may have access to them. If students want to discuss math at 3 a.m., it's not a problem. They post messages on the bulletin board and find other people who want to talk about the same topic. Technology now means students can get a degree without being on campus. There are people who are skeptical about this new method of education, but their concerns have had little impact. Unit 15, Computers. Read. A new university without a library has recently opened in the USA. All the information normally found in a library is now stored in the university's computers. Without leaving their computers, users can send messages and receive information through telephone lines. However, this means that each student must have access to a computer, and many universities are making this a requirement for freshmen. College campuses now have computer jacks in every part of the university. Study is no longer restricted to just one location. Computer bulletin boards are used in the same way as traditional ones in schools and colleges. The difference is that over 20 million people may have access to them. If students want to discuss math at 3 a.m., it's not a problem. They post messages on the bulletin board and find other people who want to talk about the same topic. Technology now means students can get a degree without being on campus. There are people who are skeptical about this new method of education, but their concerns have had little impact. Listen. Copy the flowchart into your exercise book. Then Listen and complete it. Computer programmers use flowcharts to help people understand how events are sequenced. All the shapes on this chart have a particular meaning. For example, the circles indicate a starting or stopping point. The triangles are questions and the ovals are answers. This flowchart shows how to get a drink from a machine. It shows that the first step is to find a machine. Next, ask yourself if you have the correct change. When the answer to this question is yes, ask yourself what you want to drink. For example, lemon soda. Finally, insert the coins and press the button to choose the drink you want. Once the drink appears, you may take it from the machine. Listen. Copy the flowchart into your exercise book. Then listen and complete it. Computer programmers use flowcharts to help people understand how events are sequenced. All the shapes on this chart have a particular meaning. For example, the circles indicate a starting or stopping point, the triangles are questions, and the ovals are answers. This flowchart shows how to get a drink from a machine. It shows that the first step is to find a machine. Next, ask yourself if you have the correct change. When the answer to this question is yes, ask yourself what you want to drink. For example, lemon soda. Finally, insert the coins and press the button to choose the drink you want. Once the drink appears, you may take it from the machine. Mm -hmm.